What's up, everybody? Welcome back to your favorite Crumble review. It's Sean the Food Sheep and Beanie Sports. We have breaking news. Starting from today and moving on, we are now the Crumble Podcast featuring Sean and Beanie. Woo! I'm hyped. Yeah, so basically Beanie approached me and he was like, hey, let's just do it podcast style where we kind of ask each other questions. We're going to be doing the reviews, but I think over the next couple months, you guys might be seeing yeah. a little bit of changes here and there. Um, but I'm excited about this rebrand yeah. and I'm uh, I'm pretty hyped. It's a different vibe. You know, in life, you got to take chances and we're taking a chance here. Crumble just uh, rebranded. So why don't we? Why don't we? Exactly. So, let's go. Well, it's the Easter weekend. Uh, oh, I'm being lineup. beautiful. Uh, but look, Sean, Easter is on a Monday, next Monday. So I think I next Sunday. Week, Every Sunday. Oh, is it on Sunday? Yeah, yeah it's on March Oh, 31st. okay, okay, okay. So Easter yeah. is this Sunday. So we have the Easter lineup. So this is the Eastern lineup. I don't. So here's my opinion. I'm, I don't know what your thoughts are, but if I get a birthday, I refuse to celebrate before, but I can celebrate after. I don't oh, celebrate my birthday before. Yeah, ever. Yeah, yeah. ever. But, but right, I feel like everybody does that. But holidays, I can't. I can celebrate before, but I can't celebrate I agree. after. I 100 percent agree with all that. Yep. Yeah. And so, it's on Sunday, so you don't want to. You don't want to get Easter before the week at the week after. The week after, right? right? Yeah. We, we, you want to build up the hype to that to that uh, holiday, yeah. just like we do with Christmas, right? We watch Christmas movies. Before Christmas comes, exactly. It's the same vibe. Yeah. yeah. So, so here we go, Sean. Walk us through the uh, the Easter lineup. All right. So we got uh, that sugar with the uh, candy eggs. That is lemon crinkle. Okay. Um, this is double fudge brownie. Okay. That's carrot cake. Oh man, the main event. But we'll, we'll talk about that in a bit. And then that's strawberry pretzel pie. And then last but not least, obviously. Yeah, I think that's a not the semi sweet chocolate yeah. chip, but the regular. Yeah. I mean, Sean, do we even got to do we even have to? talk about what we're most excited for i feel like it speaks for itself i don't know what are you most excited for i i genuinely don't know i mean look at this lineup okay first of all this lineup is beautiful it smells elegant yeah yeah it's, it's amazing and it looks beautiful i agree i think this is a good looking week for crumble see you got the the darkness from the chocolate you got the lemon you got the the cleanness from the egg you know my favorite i think best looking one is actually the um pretzel. the egg oh yeah ooh. i think the pretzel one is like it's good looking, but I don't know how, if it's like yeah. the best looking. So, did you do um, Easter egg hunts growing up? Yes, in school, but not outside of school. Yeah, you? yeah, yeah. Of course, I loved them. I loved them. I actually have a rabbit, so we're dressing him up for Easter. Oh yeah, wait, tell them about your rabbit. Yeah, yeah. We have a we have a rabbit. He's four years old, and uh, it's it's his holiday. You know, it's it's here. What's his name? His name is uh, Draco. Draco. And how did you find him? Like like what's the, what's the adoption story? He was abandoned by someone, and um. They, it was like a, it was like a group of uh, like so two kids had him right two yeah. kids the parents got got them a pet and he was abused Ooh. and so they had to give him up and so he only had like a few weeks left before you know because there's too many bunnies yeah and so my brother I uh, rescued him because we love animals so Draco's great you, you gotta send you gotta show him a picture in the video we'll I got you I got you I got you I got you okay but, but yeah B that's that's awesome so I feel like I, you went first last week yeah so I'm gonna go first this week and I may kill your vibe with this a little bit. What's your favorite cookie so far? Like, what's your, you said, you said the pretzel. Oh, the egg, yeah, it's right. The egg, but. I, don't do it. I, don't do it. What? What's your favorite? I want to do the egg first. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's, the, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. So, okay, guys, I can't find my cookie cutter. I don't know where it is. We've, this is the second one we've lost. So, <laughs> um, we'll have it next week, but Sean, this is going to be one of those weeks. We just got to go in. Yeah. Just, you go in first and just, just cut, cut where you need to. Just cut it half. And remember, make, remember, you got to have it with the, um, with the Easter egg as well. Okay. So, so there you go. Which color do you want? I want yellow. Yellow. Let's do yellow. Okay. Oh, Yo, wow. This is like just smooth. It's elegant. And again, this is the sugar cookie featured candied Easter I think eggs. we got the perfect bite. Mm. Whoa. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. I love that egg. I, I love that egg. It's very crunchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. You ready for the score? I am. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Eight, eight point three. Eight point three. Wow. Eight. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. Okay. I want you to. I'll, I'll walk through it first. Yeah. yeah go ahead. Eight point three for me, guys. I don't think this cookie reaches a nine. I think me and Sean both agree. Mm -hmm. From appearance, it looks beautiful. It's nice and it's just nice, plain and. Easter vibes. You don't have to have like freaking icing over here, icing over that, but I I, I think it looked really nice actually. Yep. It was a perfect Easter cookie. It looked good. The taste is amazing, but we both got we both got an egg, and there's only three eggs, so you're not gonna get chocolate vibes in every uh 
every bite, Sean. Yeah. So without the egg, I feel like it has to be a low eight. For me, I just had it without the egg. Oh. I still think it's good. I agree with you. I think my, I just like that it's like, it was good looking. I like that first of all. And then I just like the cream. It's like so smooth. And the cookie base is like pretty solid as well. So I think I like everything about it. It's not like nine level for me, but I think this is like the best you can get with a simple cookie. It's actually a nice, simple, it, I like the yeah. texture. It's just nice, simple, it's like the texture is insane. It's it feels so like smooth. you're eating a cloud. That's a good. Right? That's a good way to describe right? it. It feels like you're eating a cloud. I, I, but I, I definitely think this belongs this week, Sean. It definitely belongs. It belongs. It's it's the Easter cookie. Yeah. Um, I'm the next pick. I'm getting whatever whatever's next to it. Oh, lemon it crinkle. I don't know what that is. Yeah, lemon. So, Sean, come on. Like, lemon, really? I'll agree. This is like a relatively boring cookie. Why lemon crinkle? I'm just curious. Why this? Does this have anything to do with Easter? I don't think so. But I just think like they have like such a diversity of options on here that I think they just wanted, you know, to have a lemon cookie. Okay, okay, here we go. Hold up. Mmm. 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 Any questions? Oh yeah, guys, we're on TikTok Live as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, Jocelyn Sidhu, who are you? <laughs> oh. Um, all right. Thank, thank you for the rose. Thank you for the rose. You know how the NPCs do that? Oh, yeah. Thank you for the rose. Thank you for the rose. <laughs> if you know, you know. But uh, um, Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Three, two, one. Eight out of ten. Nine. Okay. What? I thought it was failing. He sure. failed it, guys. He mm -hmm. gave it a 6.9 if you didn't hear that. He failed it. He failed it. Walk us through that. What's going on? Okay, number one, I typically like Crumble's lemon cookies. I actually think they do a great job with it. This, um... I like the crackliness that you get from the I, crystal. I like that crackliness. Yeah. yeah, that's why I gave it an eight. It's just too plain of a cookie. It's like a basic, you know, very basic cookie. I feel like I could get this at the grocery store. Um, can you? I think you can. I don't know. Those little, those little sugar crystals are good. Yeah. And, and I think, I think this, I think the people who will like this kind of lemon cookie are is if you necessarily don't like lemon. If that's a good way to describe it. Because mm. I don't feel the lemony flavor is that strong in this. So if you don't like lemon flavors typically, like I know Beanie doesn't as necessarily as much, I feel like th this is like the chance for you to try a lemon cookie and enjoy a little 7. bit. 7.4. Wait, no, you can't change oh, the okay, score. Okay. I just Damn. feel like, yeah, th I, I didn't take into account that it looks so plain. For me, I saw the powder no. and the yellowness. I was like, it looks pretty nice, but it actually looks kind of boring. But so th there's that. I feel like I feel like we have our first drop. So B I just want to reiterate, I feel like Beanie is like a really good guy in the sense of that when he looks at cookies, he doesn't judge them on the outside. He only judges them on the inside. I do. I'm, I judge things on the outside. Yeah. I judge Whoa. cookies on the outside. Did y'all hear that, guys? So yeah, I don't judge from that. I, I, it's it's not about how, how the cookie looks outside. It's about how you are inside, right? Ex yeah. But Sean just said he, he judges outside. No, I, I, outside it's, it's a part of the factoring into the equation. I, I, if I, like, imagine if all crumble cookies were boring, it wouldn't make it crumble cookies. Like that's if they, true, if they true, didn't look true. that good. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. That's a good no. point. I mean, then then what's the point of like? You know, I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna say that, but all right. So you have the next pick, Sean. Uh, let's do yeah. the double fudge brownie. Sometimes you gotta just think before you talk, guys. You know. Um. Oh, hey. There's a girl named Ram Ram Ramnik here. Ramnik, and uh, Sahij Sahij is also in here. Sahij. Yeah. That's a nice name. Sahij. Where is this Sahij from? Where are you from, Sahij? I'm gonna say India. India. Sounds like an Indian name. What time is it in India? It's like probably 6 a.m. or something. We have we have viewers from India? Yeah. Do they have crumble in India? Um, y'all debating food. No, we're not debating food. We're just right. We will at the end. Yeah, if we you want. Um So remember, as we start this podcast, we'll answer any questions you want. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Go over to ask a uh, And Sean, we did remember we did say we'll do any challenge. Crumble gave us a challenge, actually. Oh, we'll put hot sauce on a cookie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You wanna do that? Next yeah, week? I'm down. Yeah, Next yeah. week. Next week we'll we'll do, we'll do the hot sauce chocolate cookie. Whatever. Hot what, sauce cookie challenge. We'll throw on this one. Oh, wait. Did you eat yours already? Oh, no, no, oh. no. I did not. So this is a double fudge brownie, guys, with brownie bites on top. No, I got to show them inside. Look at that. It's beautiful. Nice and melted. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I'm from Houston. Oh, oh man. Oh, wow. I was, like, almost about to choke on that. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. What's the brownie bites? Yeah. Mm. I'm ready. All right. Three. Two, one, eight point five. Yep. Yeah, it's fair. That's fair. Similar. Go. You go first. Yeah. For me, it's like uh, it's eight point five. Just because. Okay. Brownie. You can't mess brownie up. Mm -hmm. It tastes like one of those like soft, gooey brownies. It's literally when you think of a brownie, that's that's what you think of, right? It's yeah. perfect in that sense. 
but I feel like it's not, it's not reaching the nines because of the looks and because it's kind of plain. If I wanted to go to if I wanted to go to the grocery store, I could probably get the brownie right now. Yeah, like, brownies in those packages they taste like that. I think I, I agree with you. I think it tastes like a just tastes like a brownie. I think um, like it was very soft. I think this would be really nice and warm with some ice cream. I think that'd be the perfect combo. See, that's what I'm saying. If they had yeah. added something on top, it would have pushed it to a nine. Like like yeah, right? like the like the butter dollops that they that's a nine, right? Yeah, yeah. That's a yeah. nine. That's a nine cookie. Yeah. But I appreciated it. Uh, but you know, their chocolate cookie was solid. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, if it's not a nine, doesn't mean it's not a bad. It's not. It's a bad cookie. It's like you need the eights too, right? In your lineup yeah. every week. I think I think that's a good cookie for Easter. Some it's people a, that a, some people that don't get crumble regularly. Yeah, it's like they, you, you got something for everybody. You got chocolate, lemon. You got a sugar cookie. Like this week, I feel like is the epitome of like literally they got something for everybody. Yeah. All right, you're, you're next. Of course, of course. Here we go. Right to it. We got to do the. That just looks so like oh, strawberry. That looks so pretzel. hard to make. So apparently, this is actually a big thing in the south. Like so, a strawberry pretzel pie. So, it, and it's a big thing in Utah. A I lot of people were telling me that. It's, yeah, this is my first time too. But people say it's a massive thing in Utah, a massive thing in the South. So it's a pretzel, a cookie. Do you like pretzels? I'm okay. I'm like, I'm not, I'm not a pro or con against them. I'm a, I'm a, I'm going to just say this. I'm a, I'm a pro. Like at every sports event, I need, I need those soft pretzels. Those really? Big the big ones, right? You okay. Like yeah. Not these. I mean like those big ones. Like I, I, I'm not one of those people. If I ever go somewhere, I'm like, wow, get me a pretzel. You know, I'm not oh, that type okay, of guy. Okay. No, nah, like the other day I was at, at, at home, right? And I was like, man, you know what You know what I want? A pretzel. Wait, really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I promise. Everybody's got their own taste. I was, watching, I was watching basketball, guys, and I was just like, you know, I want some. I want a pretzel with some cheese. I was about to drive to man, the we ball. really need the, what's it called? The cutters. <laughs> oh, yeah, God, so this, is, y'all, this is so hard. Sean's struggling while I'm freaking telling my pretzel story. I'm going to go to the mall for a pretzel today, Sean. That's it. Really? Yeah. You like pretzels that you much? Gotta, in life, you just got to take advantage of, of situations. You just got you to gotta go for it sometimes, right? I feel like I'm overthinking this. If I want a pretzel, I should go get one. No? Do whatever you want, baby. Is that is that, a, is that is that a reach? No, I mean, yeah, spend 30 minutes on gas, you know, whatever. I'm going to get a pretzel today, guys. Mm -hmm. But Oh, did you already eat it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get that huge pretzel? All right. Again, I respect the creativity from Crumble for doing a pretzel and strawberry cookie. That is, like, very unique. I don't think we've ever seen something like that. I re again, I just want to say I respect the creativity. Um, if it was looks, it's probably a nine. Yeah, even looks wise. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Seven four out of ten. Okay. Yeah. What? I give it a massive four. Ten. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you why I didn't like it. Number one, I, I don't like. I don't care for the pretzel texture with like strawberry jam. It's like a weird thing. It's like you get a little bit of saltiness and a little bit of sweetness. Um, the whipped cream, again, it's just like a weird combination of everything together and I don't think it did well. I know strawberry um, pretzel pies are like a thing. I personally didn't enjoy it, but who knows, if you if you like the strawberry pretzel pie, maybe, maybe you guys will like it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, did I enjoy it? Not at all. I'm gonna be honest, Sean, I was gonna give it like a five or a six, but I was like, I don't want to be too harsh, too low. I feel like I was going to say the wrong score. Mm -hmm. So I did give it like a barely passing for looks. When you come to looks, I feel like it, it, it got that seven from me. But if you're four, I'm not arguing that at all. Mm -hmm. Like Sean's, like usually when Sean gives a low rating, like I have a little debate. But him giving this a four, I have no debate for that. I, I, I see where he's coming from. Yeah. And I completely agree. Sometimes some foods are just meant to be eaten separate, right? And sometimes you just don't mix, mix it. Yeah, like it's a, like here again, I respect it. They added pretzels. It's a soft cookie too. It's not like a hard cookie. Yeah. Um, so just like there's a lot of different textures going on at once, and it just it just didn't match up for me. So even though you gave it a four, and you did say that this is a thing that people in, in the yeah. south eat, do you still recommend people to try it out for themselves or no? I say try it out for yourself. See if you like it, because uh, some people may love this, some people may hate this. At a four, do you want someone to try a four? Here's what I'd say: if you're getting a four box, I'd say include it. I'd say leave out lemon crinkle. Like, even though this is lower than lemon, lemon crinkle, I would leave out lemon crinkle. Because it's not... Oh, you're already automatically throwing that in there? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you just course. got to. Of course, of course. Um, <laughs> of course, of course. Uh, I'm just saying. Like, again, it, I would say the lemon crinkle tastes better, but it's not like... It's a personal choice. And th this yeah. one, we don't know the next time we'll see, yeah. um, you know, strawberry pretzel pie. Lemon crinkle tastes way better. It's not even close. Yeah. But now the main event. Now the main event. The... Here, Beanie, I'll, I'll give you a spoon. So, just a heads up. Uh, Crumble has cakes now, so we have tried the tres leches, and we have tried the cinnamon sugar. Um, I believe, I do remember another cake, 
but that's all I can remember for now. That's really well put. So it's not like a, it's not like one of those ice cream sandwiches. It's just like two layers of literal, literal cake. Yeah, it's with icing in the middle. Yeah, with vanilla icing, and then there's supposed to be pineapple spicing, oh. like pumpkin, and there's um, chopped pecans on top, mm. so you guys can see the pecans. Are you a fan of uh, carrot cake? Oh yeah, I like carrot cake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not like um. I love carrot cake too. I love mm -hmm. it. Yeah. I feel like when I was younger, I always thought carrot cake is what older people used to eat. But, you know, now that I'm older, when I, I... When you get more sophisticated and your taste buds are actually, like, settled, settled in, no. you appreciate carrot cake. You appreciate those things, you know? Exactly. It's about maturity, you know? In life, when you get older and older, you get more mature, you appreciate the little things. Of course, yeah. Right? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. No, right? I agree. I mean, it does that just... It has carrots in it, too. Going so. to the... And we're eating carrots today. Nice. Yeah. You know, I'm going to the mall today. I'm it's nice to get your vegetables in. Yeah, our 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 weekly vegetables, right? We got lemon in. We got some cocoa powder. What else did we get in? Um, strawberry. We ate some strawberries. Yeah, yeah. A very healthy meal. Mm hmm. Hmm. All right. You ready, Beanie? I did two bites on this. Yo, can I get another one? Go ahead. Yo, Go ahead. that's only my rule. You can eat whatever you want. Hmm. Mm. Yo. Do we, do we? Just go. 9.1. 9, whatever. 9.2, yep. 9.3, 9.4. I don't know. That bomb, that's bomb. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'll, uh, every single cake that Crumbless came out with, and I, I'm glad they shifted away from just being cookies, they've smacked. Oh, yeah. Again, Tris Liches, I loved it. This, I love it. Like, they've just been on a roll with these cakes. It's just, um, maybe, maybe it should be Crumble Cakes instead of Crumble Cookies. Maybe. They yeah. are destroying the cake game, Sean. I'm gonna say that's their best cake so far. Really? I love it's the softness. Yeah. The carrot, the carrot cake taste is there. The icing is just amazing. Cream cheese is what usually goes on carrot cake, and it kind of makes that. It, it kind of makes that's what gives it that one-two punch. You know what I mean? That one-two punch. Oh yeah. And man, 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 Sean, I'm definitely getting that again this week. It's very moist too. Yeah. It's like you don't you like my worry about cakes is you'd be worried about dryness or something, but it's not dry at all. It, it's very moist. It's um. You can tell it's like it's fresh, like yeah. it's freshly made. Man, if you're getting a one cookie this week, that's not even a debate. Yeah, it's carrot. Go get it right now, and make sure that like if you are eating it there, we tech, we could have eaten this with our hands, but it'd been messy. Just ask Crumble for um for yeah. spoons; they'll provide it. Spoons for sure. And just a heads up, this carrot cake is a little bit more expensive as well. I think it was like thirty nine or forty cents more expensive. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um. Because typically I spend twenty one fifty on a box a week, and I think this week was like twenty three twenty nine. So it may have been a little bit more than that. Um, yeah, it's just okay. Beanie, you're building a four box. What are you picking? Yeah, four box is easy. It's gonna be carrot. I might even say two carrots. Two carrots. I'm gonna say two carrots. I'm gonna say two carrots because it's not. We don't know when we're gonna see it again. Okay. One brownie and one Easter egg. Yeah, that's pretty I, good. I'm dropping pretzel and lemon. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, that's actually the right move. Right? I think um, so. I think so. Yep, I agree with you. You gotta get more bang for your buck, guys. Get the two carrots. I mean, yeah. it is thirty cents more, but it's it's worth every penny. Dang, yeah, that gosh, is good. I don't disagree with that. I thought I was gonna disagree, but there, I see no point. I would have eaten all of that, but I gotta go to the gym, Sean. So I'll probably later. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah playing right, basketball yeah. today. I'm playing basketball today. I am. Mm -hmm. You know, he knows my schedule, guys. Like what? Like yeah. But oh, well, you also told me before this that you're playing <laughs> basketball. <laughs> but before we move on, guys, if you got, if you want a beanie last week, it's it's it was shipped out. You'll receive it in, in the next few days. Oh, yeah. Maybe next week latest, but we're doing giveaways now. Yeah, so actually, we're going to do giveaways uh, this week again. So just comment below. We're going to choose more random people. We uh, we sent out three beanies last week or four beanies? Five. Five, five. We had two left over from the week before and three, yeah. Five. Yeah, so we've sent out five. So we're sending out uh, as many, not beanies, uh, hoodies. Hoodies, as, hoodies, 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 hoodies. So keep commenting on uh, YouTube and we, we will get that done. Um, somebody said, will you give them in, man, I have no idea what it's saying. England? Will, will you ship them to England? Will you ship them to England? I mean, if you win and you're in India, we'll ship it. So, I mean, it's just whoever wins. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> it's like $60 shipping. Listen, man, we're happy to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, but where are you guys going to try now? So we're just doing crumble cookies right now, but... Yeah, Be Beanie, what, you got any life advice for the folks this week? Uh, life advice, huh? Life advice? I wasn't prepared for this, Sean. I thought we were going to talk about more question-based. But life yeah, yeah, hit me with any questions. Anything. 
my life advice is um i would say having a routine in a nine to five isn't all bad i feel like a lot of people i feel like nine to fives have that stigma of you're working on nine to five like your life is miserable yeah like it's okay you know you have a nine to five you know you're you have a five to nine it's okay to have that and enjoy that i feel like yeah just be positive like it's okay like like i said I'd be positive last week i feel like have a reset routine and stick to it i feel like there's nothing wrong with that in life i agree yeah there's nothing wrong with that yeah. a lot of people just look at social media yeah. see other people's you know lives or whatever and then they just get you know like example yeah. nine to five today i work right and it's what it's five o'clock now we did our crumble review that's our set that's our weekly monday schedule i'm gonna go to the gym i'm gonna grab something to eat watch nba go to sleep i have nothing wrong with my schedule yeah i, I love my routine yeah there's nothing wrong with that yeah yeah like, watching basketball makes me happy would i want to be sitting courtside every day but of course but you know sometimes in life you just got to have a slow process and just keep working towards your goals yeah I agree. That's, that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, that's my life advice. That, that's respect. I think that was just the perfect way to end it. And I, I also uh, just want to say out there to the folks, if you guys are dealing with that, just just know that so are millions of other people. You so, know? what's your life advice? My life advice? I was supposed to ask today because uh, I went first. Okay. Right? I mean, you're welcome to ask. Just ask, ask any question. I think I'm a uh, oh, life advice. Okay. So, question. Yeah. Question then. If if uh, if every single cookie in the world had a talent. Which cookie would win at the talent show? If every single cookie in the world had a talent. Let's say we have a talent show for cookies. Yeah. Which cookie's winning the talent show? That, that is tough. Comment below what you guys think before Sean gets, uh, gives his answer. Man, that is actually really tough. Because that's like... Um... It's a question you sent me. So I thought you would be a little... <laughs> no, that, this is a hard question. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm not going to lie. I, I asked it really quick because I didn't know, I didn't know what the answer you was. You picked me the hardest question out there. <laughs> like, Like... If a cookie it was in the talent show, like what would chocolate chip do, right? All right, chocolate chip versus oatmeal raisin versus cookies and cream versus um, this carrot cake, and then let's say a sugar cookie. You know what? I'm gonna give a corny answer, but yeah. hopefully you guys like it. I'm gonna say carrot cake because it's the only one getting vegetables, so it's like mind is probably working better. <laughs> so it's like now if you told me a spelling bee, I would pick carrot cake, but like I don't know about. Bro, what? Like a superhero. <laughs> yeah. Because that is probably the smartest out of all of them. I mean, I get... Yeah, I, okay. Maybe uh, the, the sugar cookie from today because it had uh, three candies. It's sparkling. Three three eggs. So maybe maybe like it's bringing new life to the world. <laughs> what? Okay, I mean, those are good answers. Those yeah. are good answers. Those are good answers. All right, all right, all right. Next question, next question. Uh... Oh, man. People are going at each other in the comments. <laughs> really? Let's all make sure to be respectful, y'all. We'll read them after. Yeah. Cookie karaoke. If cookies... Nah, this is a hard one. Tell your best uh, food-related dad joke. Food-related dad? Oh, wait. Uh, uh, do you like uh, seafood? Sometimes. Nice, because you see the food and you eat it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a dad joke. Yeah, yeah, it's a dad joke. Yeah, you see the food and you eat it. You like seafood. Yeah, what yeah. about you? Uh, do you know what um, fruit you would be if you were a fruit? Yeah, I already know this Which one. one? Uh, trust me, we, we Which like one? Which one? I've tried this Which on, one? Uh, pineapple, pineapple. Because you'd be a pineapple. You're yeah. a pineapple. Yeah, that's not good, guys. Uh, I mean, like, I, I, I listen using that line out in the in the public. You know, it hasn't worked. Do. Obviously, it's, it's, that line is like all of ten for me. Yeah, but it is what it is. Arshan, right, uh, another question. Another question for you. Ooh, that was five out of ten. Not gonna lie. Um, somebody's asking if you're going to Dutch Bros today. No Dutch Bros today. I, I just I'm drinking an energy drink, guys. Fun fact: they are that coffee brand that when you go into the what's it called I into the line, they will like come talk to you. Like it's like an entire thing. Yeah. Yeah. And and it's so awkward when you get to the drive-through. Sometimes yeah. I just close my window and look away. I don't know what to say. Oh, you don't you don't want to talk to somebody for two minutes? <laughs> Yeah. No, I don't know what to say. Yeah. Like, what are your plans today? Like, I don't want to, like, what do you, what do you, okay, hey, Sean, welcome to uh, Dutch. What, what, are, what are your plans today? I don't go to Dutch Bros. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, like, I, that's why, I don't know, I feel like I'm just normal when I go to places. Um, can you review vegan spots? Um, yeah, kind of. Uh, no. Yeah, like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, like, I mean. No. Yeah, I mean, sure. Sh sure, why not? Every once in a while, yeah, we can do that, like, once a month. Um, somebody asked. It's annoying because obviously we need coffee because we are low on energy. Oh man, people are just going at each other in the comments. All right, Beanie, any more questions? One more question and then we'll end it. Okay. We'll, we'll, do, well guys, remember, make sure you subscribe, comment below. We'll do a giveaway next week. Okay.
Okay, I have a good question. I like this question. What's the weirdest food combination that you've tried and it worked? It's a good question. So. Oh, that's actually a really good one. Um, I would say... Comment below, too. I want to see everyone's. I, like... I don't think it's weird, but I think fries and ice cream works really well. I think that, 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 that's a popular one, like like Wendy's in their uh, in their frosty. Yeah, like that that one's gotten so popular though. You know, I would actually say, um, shoot, what's like a good fusionism food? I'm trying to think. What about you? What would you pick? Mine's grilled cheese and ketchup. I feel like that's normal. That's Is actually normal? really normal. Is it normal? That's just like a normal thing. I thought I was the only one that did that. No, no, no. no. I'm sure if we ask people, like that's a pretty normal okay, thing. Okay, I have a weird one. I have a weird one. Okay, I like to eat, uh, you know, uh, fettuccine alfredo pasta? Yeah. So, like, I have, if I have leftovers, what I do is... Okay, this might be a little too weird. So, it's in the fridge. It's cold. I eat it cold, but with hot sauce. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's... I don't warm it up, but I eat it with hot sauce, and it's, it's, it smacks. Yeah, that's like a food thing that... Is uh, it? I, I feel like everybody just has their own thing. So has like, anyone heard of that? I mean, has anyone said that to you? I've... No. It, it's, um... That's definitely different. I'll say don't that. Don't knock it until you try it, guys. Trust me. No, no, I like. I feel like pasta out, out of the fridge is weirdly not that bad. It's like, not at like, all. Yeah, because yeah. there's a thing called cold pasta. Yeah, and so you put some hot sauce on it. It has a nice little kick to it because fettuccine is kind of sometimes it's not the flavor's not there when it's uh, cold for some reason. I don't know. That's a. It's I, random. It's random. If you put it in the microwave, I feel like eating it cold is almost better than putting it in the microwave sometimes. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Uh, um. Oh yeah, mine is actually this. This is like a weird thing that I do. But don't I, say don't say the cereal. Don't say the cereal. No, no, no. I can't eat hot dogs. Like with ketchup or anything, I just I eat it with shredded cheese. Like that's like the, that's how I've okay, always that, eaten them. See, that's a good one. So yeah. you literally just get a hot dog and put cheese on it. Yep. And the, and the cheese is not melted. Uh no, I don't melt the cheese. So when you get when you get hot dogs at games, they don't have shredded cheese there. You just eat the hot dog. Uh yeah, I just eat it. I think you have. I think I have seen you just straight up eat a hot dog. Yeah yeah. I don't like. It. I mean, I like onions and like. I don't like ketchup or mustard on it. Mm. It's just just a weird thing. Maybe have you ever. had the hot dog from Costco? Random question. Oh uh, no, I haven't. The one fifty one. You know, I've never had it in my life either. I've never, and, and I, that's pretty crazy. Do you know uh, those tic that TikTok like dad and son? A yes, a a I, that's Justice? that's why I asked yeah. you, bro, because they just did the double chocolate chip cookie and the chicken. Ba oh, they did everything. They did everything. Double chocolate chunk cookie. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's how. That's how we. Who should try that? Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. So next week, guys, no, not next week, but next challenge will be, oh, no, we'll do it next week with the chocolate chip cookie. We'll do hot sauce. Okay. So make sure you like, comment below, guys, and we'll be, we'll do, we'll do that next week. Sean will do it, too. Sounds I'm good. making you do it. All right. Yeah. Cool. But peace out, y'all, and make sure to comment so we can send out more of the hoodies.